Her family is speaking out about what they say is a miscarriage of justice over the former Skyline High School student accused of threatening their teenage daughter online. Now here's what they had to say to 7 Action News reporter Anu Prakash about it. Upset, anger, all, all, uh, all range of emotions. That's the voice of an Ann Arbor man who says 20-year-old Rishi Ragsdale threatened his 14-year-old stepdaughter by sending sexual and frightening messages to her online, and now he's afraid Ragsdale is going to get a pass from criminal prosecution. Some of the threats are too graphic to show. Others describe the violence. I also want to see your mutilated face on a spike in my basement. We're not identifying the stepfather in order to protect the identity of his teenage daughter. Investigators say this all started last October. She was online with her friends and they got an ass and somehow he anonymously gave these threats and he thought he would never be tracked until the FBI did their job, tracked him down and arrested him. Ragsdale was indicted for sending threatening communications, but this worried stepfather says he is livid because federal prosecutors have offered him an agreement, something similar to probation, even though there's no guilty plea that's been made. It would require Ragsdale to comply with the rules for two years, and if he does, the government won't press charges. The stepfather says Ragsdale is riding his bike by the family's house and has frightened his daughter so much she has moved thousands of miles away. I want justice to be served. And I want the public to know that there may be a predator among us that's going to be let free. Well, tomorrow morning, that stepfather will be in federal court in Detroit. That is when Rishi Ragsdale is expected to accept that agreement offered by federal prosecutors. We'll let you know what happens. I'm Anu Prakash, 7 Action News. And tonight, we tried to reach Ragsdale for comment on, but when, uh, we're unable to do that. Meanwhile, Assistant U.S. Attorney Kevin McKay, he released the following statement. In light of all the facts, including the defendant's age at the time of the offense and multiple mental health assessments, we've sought to find a resolution that is in the best interest of public and victim safety and the ends of justice. This resolution is an appropriate intervention that permits us to monitor the defendant while ensuring mental health assessments for two years.